Nine. Ten divided by two plus nine divided by minus three. So when you apply the rule of pot mass, yeah, you can see that you have to divide two times. No brackets, no off, but I'll have to divide two times. I'll divide twice. So, 10 divided by 2 will give me 5 plus. Now be careful. 9 divided by minus 3, this is integers involved here. So a plus divided by a minus gives me minus. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So 5 plus minus 3, I have 5, I owe 3, therefore I'll end up having 2, therefore my answer is plus 2. Alright, number 10. 12 minus 8 plus 5 times 2. Applying the rule of board mass, I'm looking for brackets, no brackets. Looking for off, no off. Looking for division, no division. Looking for multiplication, yes, I found it there. So there's the 12 minus, there's the 8. Plus 5 times 2 gives me 10. Now I'm adding and subtracting, so I must go left to right. So 12 minus 8 will give me 4. 4 plus 10 will give me 12. So my final answer is 12. Right, let's have a look at this example again. This is a very good example why you should go left to right. Some students, see if you go left to right, you'll get the answer 12, which is correct, no problem. But some students can make a mistake. If they don't go left to right, they will say, they will say 8 plus 10, 18, and 12 minus 18 and give the answer as minus 6, which is wrong. Because this answer, going left to right, is 12 minus 8, which is 4. And 4 plus 10 is 14, by the way. Sorry, there was a mistake here. It's 14. 12 minus 8 is 4. 4 plus 10 is 14. If you don't go left to right, and if you try to do some funny things, you might say 8 plus 10, 18, minus 18. I don't know what you will say. So you might say the answer is 30. I don't know what. Therefore, avoid all that problem. Always follow this rule of go left to right. 12 minus 8 gives you 4. 4 plus 10 gives you 14. And you'll have no problem. Okay. All right. Now, when you look at number 11, don't get frightened. Just take it easy. Just apply the rule of board mass. Look for a bracket. Yes, there is a bracket. And in the bracket is half plus three quarter. Well, you can think of it like bread. Half a loaf of bread plus three quarter loaf of bread will give me one and a quarter. Or if you like to use LCM, you can use LCM and get the answer and you get one and a quarter in the end. Or if you don't like to use LCM, you can think like this. That's three quarter. Three quarter, I can do it for you and show you an easier way. You see, this is half. Three quarter is really half plus quarter. In case you don't know your fractions. So half plus half is one, one plus quarter is one and a quarter. So there's one and a quarter. Off means multiply. Then you've got 12 divided by three times two plus five minus two. So I looked at the bracket and okay. So we're looking at one and a quarter. One times four is four plus one, five over four times 12 over 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 2 plus 5 minus 2. Now we are concentrating on the off. We're trying to complete this part here first. 
So if you look carefully, 4 divides here one time, 4 divides here three times. So this part becomes 5 threes, 15. 5 threes, 15. 15 divided by 3 times 2 plus 5 minus 2. Now we go to the rule of board mass again and we look again. Any brackets? No. Off? No. Division? Yes. So we have a division here. 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 2 plus 5 minus 2. Back to the rule of board mass. Any brackets? No. Any off? No. Any division? No. Any multiplication? Yes. So 5 times 2, 10 plus 5 minus 2. And now at this stage you must go left to right. 10 plus 5, 15, 15 minus 2, 13. So there we are. So the final answer for that is 13. All right, so let's have a look at number 12. Now, once again, don't get threatened by the length of the example. Just relax and do it step by step. So it's board mass and we're looking for a bracket. And when we study the example, we do find a bracket here. So let's do the bracket first. One minus half is half. So we have finished with the bracket. Now you've got off 20 divided by 2 times 10 plus 20 minus 2. Now you can look at the example here and you go back to board mass. We finished with the bracket. We're looking for off. Is there an off? Yes. Half of 20. So half of 20 is 10. 10 divided by 2 times 10 plus 20 minus 2. Now back to the rule of board mass again. You are applying the same rule many times on the same example. You're looking at this and you're asking yourself, any brackets? No. Any off? No. Any division? Yes. So we have to do the division now. 10 divided by 2 gives you 5 times 10 plus 2 plus 20 minus 2. Now you are at this step. Again, you are applying the rule of board mass. You are going there and asking yourself, any brackets? No. Any off? No. Any division? No. Any multiplication? Yes. So the multiplication has to be done first. So 5 times 10 gives you 50 plus 20 minus 2. And then working left to right, 5 plus 20 is 70. 70 minus 2. 70 minus 2 gives you 68. Now it's always important to check your work. So we're going to go back and check this example up. 1 minus half is half, correct, of 20 divided by 2 times 10 plus 20 minus 2, that's correct. Half of 20 is 10, that's correct, divided by 2 times 10 plus 20 minus 2. 10 divided by 2 is fine, that's correct, times 10 plus 20 minus 2, that's correct. 5 times 10, 50. Correct? Plus 20 minus 2. Now left to right, 5 plus 20, uh, 50 plus 20, 70. Minus 2, 68. That's the end of number 12. Right, so we're at number 13. And when you read the question, 11 minus 5 minus 1 plus half of 6 minus 10 divided by 5 minus 11. So we realize we have to use the rule of board mass. We're looking for a bracket. We have found it, 5 minus 1. So there's your 11, there's your minus. 5 minus 1 gives you 4. We've done the bracket first. Plus half of 6 minus 10 divided by 5 minus 11. Go back to the rule of board mass. You're looking for an off. So there's the off. By now you should be getting a little brave. You can do two steps one time. So you can see there's an off here, which I can do. And then after that, there's a division, which I can do. So I'm going to do these two steps one time. So there's your 11 minus 4 plus, now half of 6, it's fairly simple, that's 3. So I can't do this yet. Minus 
10 divided by 5, that's very simple. I can do the division straight away in the same step. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So sometimes you can do two steps at one time as long as you're following the order correctly. See, as long as you follow the order correctly. So, now I've got to add and subtract. So I have to move left to right. So, 11 minus 4 will give me 7. Plus 3 will give me 10 minus 2 minus 11. Moving left to right, 7 plus 3 will give me 10 minus 2 minus 11. 10 minus 2 will give me 8 minus 11. 8 minus 11. I, oh, I have 8. I owe 11. Therefore, I'll end up owing 3. Alright, so a quick check. 11 minus 5 plus 1, 4 plus half of 6 minus 10 divided by 5 minus 11. Always check your work. 11 minus 4 plus half of 6 is 3. There's your minus sign here. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Once again, somebody could say, well, that's minus 10 divided by 5. Quite correct. Well, minus 10 divided by 5 gives you minus 2. Minus 11. And then 11 minus 4 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 11 is minus 3. So it is correct. All right. So, once again, we apply the rule of pod mass. Now, remember, if you're looking for a bracket, it not necessarily be on the left-hand side. You could read the whole question. It could be hiding anyway inside here. So, there we are. Yeah, we're here. We have a bracket here. So, there's your 11 minus 3 quarter. Off means multiply. 24 over 1 divided by. 5 plus 1 gives you 6 times minus 2, minus 5. Now, you must get a little brave. You see, you wrote your 11. Now, you know that off means multiply, so you can change it to multiply. And your 24, you rewrite this 24 over 1, divided by 5 plus 1, 6. So what I've done is, I've only done this part here first, which is 5 plus 1, 6. But I just tried to make my life a little easier by doing this part here also. Now, now, if I'm reading this section here now, I'm actually seeing multiplication two times. And I'm seeing division once. See? But I've got to do this off first because this was an off. See? So I've got to do this first. Off. So there's your 11 minus. Now, 4 divides here one time. 4 divides there six times. So 3 times 6 gives you 18. Divided by 6 times Minus 2, minus 1. Now, back to board mass. You got no brackets, you got no off, but you got a division. So let's do the division. We're going to do the division. So there's your division. So it's 11 minus 18 divided by 6 is 3. So that gives you 3 times minus 2, minus 5. Now you've got to be very careful. You see, you've got your 11 here. Here you've got minus 3 times minus 2. Okay? You've got minus 3 times minus 2, which gives you plus 6. Minus 5. And then working left to right, 17 minus 5, giving you a final answer of 12. Alright, number 15, applying the rule of board mass, we don't have any brackets, but we have, we don't have any brackets, we don't have any off, but we do have a division, so we do our division first. So there's your 5, minus 10, times minus 3, minus 5, plus. Now 20 divided by minus 2 will give you minus 10, be careful, remember your integer rules, 20 divided by minus 2 gives you minus 10 because plus divided by minus gives you minus. Right. Now, you go back to rule of board mass. You read this question and you have a multiplication now. 
So it's 5, right? Minus 10 times minus 3 will give you minus, will give you plus 30, sorry. Minus 10 times minus 3 will give you plus 30, minus 5. Now, plus minus 10, all right? This plus minus 10. Now, 5 plus 30 going left to right will give you 35 minus 5 plus that minus 10. So this is 35 minus 5 will give you 30 plus minus 10. 30, you have 30 and you owe in 10, therefore you'll end up having 20. Or simply 30 minus 10 giving you 20. Right, that's number 15. Let's move on to number 16. Once again, applying board mass, we find an off over here, so we have to do that first. 17 minus 5 times minus 3 plus quarter of 4, quarter of 4 we know is 1, minus 18. Then we look at the example again, apply the rule of board mass again, and you can see there's a multiplication. So you've got 17 minus 5 times minus 3, remember your integer rules, minus times minus gives you plus. So 5 threes, 15, plus 1, minus 18. Work left to right, 17 and 15 will give you 32 plus 1 minus 18. That's 33 minus 18, which is 15. Right, let's roll to number... All right, we're rolling on to number 17. Once again, we are using the rule of board mass. And if need be, we will be working from left to right when we add and subtract. Okay, so we can see a bracket here and we need to do the bracket first. So there's the minus 11, there's your minus 5. And 8 minus 10 gives you minus 2. Now it's important to write that answer again in a bracket here. Because you have to multiply. I'll repeat. According to the rule of board mass, there is a bracket here, so I start with the bracket. 8 minus 10 is minus 2. But that minus 2 must be kept in a bracket here because I have to multiply it by minus 5. So there's no multiplication sign written here, but it is understood that you are multiplying. So if I'm multiplying, I've got to keep the bracket. The bracket will not disappear. Minus. Now you can get brave. Minus half of 40. So you can do that straight away. Half of 40 is 20. Now you've got minus 11. Minus 5 times minus 2. You've got to do the multiplication now. Minus 5 minus 2. Means minus 5 times minus 2. Well, a minus times a minus gives you a plus. 5 times 2 gives you 10. Minus 20. Moving from left to right. Minus 11 plus 10 will give me minus 1. And there's the minus 20. I'm owing 1. I'm owing 20. I'll end up owing 21. All right. Let's see if we can do number 18 here. Number 18. No, it will not be enough. So I'm going to redo 18. I need enough space for number 18. So I will start 18. All right. So you see an example with board mass. And with fractions. Now don't run away. Just stay in the room. Just sit there, relax. And do this thing slowly, step by step. Right, let's just put on board mass here. Okay. Any brackets? Yes. We're going to do this bracket first. So there is a bracket. Half plus quarter is three quarter. Of four fifths. Divided by... 2 over 5 times 4 over 5 minus 1 over 10. Now, don't look at the fractions and get scared. Just relax. Now, is there an off? Yes. Therefore, we'll have to do the off. That's 3 over 4. Off means multiply. And that's 4 over 5. Divided by 2 over 5 plus 4 over 5 minus 1 over 10. Now, when you look here, that 4 cancels with that 4, and you're left with 3 over 5, divided by 2 over 5, plus 4 over 5, minus 1 over 10. Now, look at bottom mass again. We've finished with the brackets, we've finished with the off, there is a division, so we have to do the division. Now, you must know your rules of fractions. The first number remains the same, 3 over 5. The division becomes multiplication. The 2 over 5 
you invert it, you make it upside down, so it becomes 5 over 2 plus 4 over 5 minus 1 over 10. Now when you look here, when you look here, the 5 cancels with the 5. So you're left with 3 over 2 plus 4 over 5 minus 1 over 10. Now if you like, you can make this 5 threes, 15 over 5 twos, 10 using equivalent fractions. 5 threes, 15, 5 twos, 10 plus 2 fives, 10, 2 fours, 8. 2 fives, 10, 2 fours, 8. We're using equivalent fractions, minus 1 over 10. Now, if you're here and using the word equivalent fractions and you don't know what's equivalent fractions, you must stop and find out from somebody exactly what's the meaning of equivalent fractions. But just to give you an idea, you see we're taking 3 over 2 and what we're doing, we're multiplying the top and the bottom by the same number, 3 over 2, 3 over 2, we're multiplying the top and the bottom by the same number, 5 threes, 15, 2 fives, 10. That's how we're getting the 15 over 10 and that's called equivalent fractions because this and that got exactly the same value. So, now the denominator is 10. Alright, we don't even have to do it that way. The denominator is 10, so you just write it down once. Going left to right, 15 plus 8 is 20. 3 minus 1. 23 minus 1 gives you 22 over 10. 10 divides into 22 two times, you're left to 2 over 10. And 2 can divide into 2 1 time, 2 can divide into 10 5 times. The final answer is 2 and 1 fifth. Now remember the golden rule in maths, always check. So let's check our work. Half plus quarter is 3 quarter or 4 fifths divided by 2 fifths times 4 fifths minus 1 ten. Fine. Off means multiply. So 3 over 4 times 4 over 5 and that remains the same. 4's cancel, 3 fifths correct. Divided by 2 fifths, that's fine. Now. The first number remains the same, 3 over 5, divide becomes multiply, 2 over 5, inverted means upside down, so it becomes 5 over 2, that's fine. The 5's cancel, I'm left with 3 over 2. Now I am adding and subtracting fractions, so I need a common denominator, means the denominators have to become the same. So I'm using the idea of equivalent fractions, 5 3 is 15, 5 2 is 10, 2, 4 is 8, 2, 5 is 10, and that remains itself. Denominator is 10, 15 plus 8 is 23, minus 1 is 22 over 10. 10 divided by 22, 2 times, 2 over 10, 2 cancels there 1 time, 2 cancels there 5 times, 2 and 1 fourth. So that's the final answer for number 18. Alright, we have number 19. Now if you think this is too much work, I have to tell you, maths is not for lazy people. You have to work hard. You have to do lots and lots of examples because practice makes perfect. So you're going to practice a lot of examples. All right, back to rule of board mass. So, B O D M A S. And if I have to add and subtract, I'll go left to right. So, there's an off. So I'm going to do that. So there's the 3 minus half. Off means multiply. 4 over 7 plus 5 over 7 times 14 over 35. Right. Now, there's the 3 minus 4, well, there's a 4 and a 2. So the 2 cancels here 1 time, 2 cancels the 2 time. So 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 7 is 7 plus. So I have finished that. Now here I've got to multiply. So I can do the multiplication right there. 7 divides into 7 one time, into 14 two times. Remember when it comes to fractions, you can cancel up and down, or you can cancel like a cross. So when I try up and down, nothing cancels. When I try up and down, nothing cancels. So I tried this way, the 7's cancel. Now I'm trying this way, you see, this way. 5 will cancel the 1 time, 5 will cancel the 7 time. So what's left? 
1 times 2 which is 2, 1 times 7 which is 7. So I've got 3 minus 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. Now, you see this 2 sevenths and that 2 sevenths gives you 0. Or, anyway, if you're following the left to right rule, 3 minus 2 sevenths will give you 2 and 5 sevenths. Right? 3 minus 2 sevenths will give you 2 and 5 sevenths. Plus that 2 sevenths. Now, this 5 seven plus that 2 seven will give you 7 over 7. So this is really 2 plus 1. The final answer is 3. Or another student would have said, look, I know the left, and left to right rule, but this minus 2 seven and that plus 2 seven gives me 0. Therefore, the final answer is 3 will also be correct. Okay, and now we come to our last example. Let's move on to number 20. All right, we are at number 20 and relax because we have come to the end of the exercise. According to board mass, we have off here, which we're going to do first. So there's our 3 over 5 times minus 1 over 2. Now watch carefully. You see this minus half. It can be written in three ways. It, the minus can be written in the middle. It can be written on the top or it can be written in the bottom. It's always best to write the minus sign on the top there like that. So it makes it easy. Right? Plus half of 3 over 4. Minus 1 over 8 divided by 5 over 8. Alright, now let's see. We were busy with the off section. We have to do the section here first. Right. So I was only clarifying that here so far. That I've got a minus half. And I need to be sure where the minus sign goes. So I said the minus sign could go on top. It could be in the middle. Or it could be in the bottom. But it is always best to write it on top. It's like Cremora. Put it on top. Plus half of three quarter. Well, by now we are brave. And we can say, well, that's times. Right. Now we're doing this part here. So... There's your 3 over 5 times minus 1 over 2 plus 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 4 is 8 minus 1 over 8. Now you can get a little brave. Now you know you have to divide next, right? So we can start the division straight away. Divide means this will be multiply. 5 over 8 will become 8 over Five. So these cancel off and I'm left with 1 over 5. You see 1 times 1 is 1. See 8 divided by 8 one time, 8 divided by 8 one time. So 1 times 1 is 1 over 1 times 5 is 5. Now a very important reason why I'm emphasizing this. You see 1 times 1 is 1. Don't say nothing left here. That's wrong. It's 1 times 1 which is 1 over 1 times 5 which is 5 right so we finished the off we finished the division we're going on to multiplication so there's the multiplication that we're going to do now 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 over 8 and there's the minus sign there and that became 1 fifth now once again, you've got two choices. You can use equivalent fractions to add this, or you can use LCM. Let's say we only use LCM. So the LCM for what, 10, 8, and 5 is 40. The LCM for 10, 8, and 5 is 40. So 10 divides into 40 four times. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. I'll repeat. The LCM for 10, 8, and 5 is 40. 10 divides into 40, 4 times. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Next step, 8 divides into 40, 5 times. 5 times 3 is 15. 
5 divides into 8 into 40. 8 times. 8 times 1 is 8. Now moving from left to right, minus 12 plus 15 will give you plus 3 minus 8 all over 40. Plus 3 minus 8. I have 3 of 08, so I owe 5 over 40. And now when I look at this carefully, 5 can divide the one time, 5 can divide here, 8 times. So the final answer is minus 1 over 8. Now remember, in maths, you must check your work. So there's your 3 fifths times minus half plus half times 3 quarter minus 1 over 8 divided by 5. Fine, there's your 5, that's fine. 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 4 is 8. 1 over 8, divide becomes multiply, invert, correct. 3 times minus 1, minus 3, 5 times 2, 10, fine. Plus, plus side, 3 eighths, 3 eighths, minus, minus. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 5 is 5. Now when we look at this, we say, well, let's find LCM. So there's your LCM, 40. Now if you don't know how to find LCM, please go back and learn how to find LCM. 10 divides into 40, 4 times, 4 times minus 3 is minus 12, correct. 8 divides here 5 times, 5 to 3 is 15, correct. 5 divides here 8 times, 8 times 1 is 8, correct. Working left to right, minus 12 plus 15 will give you 3, minus 8 over 40. You have 3, you owe 8, so you owe 5 over 40. Now when you look here, 5 can divide on the top and down. So 5 divided into 5 one time, 5 divided into 40 eight times. We're left with the final answer of minus 1 over 8. That brings us to the end of board mass. But remember, we've taken you from the easiest example to the most difficult example. But if you know 1 to 6, and you can get 1 to 6 right, then you're on your way to understanding the rule of board mass. Thank you. All right, now I want you to take special note of the following rule. It also involves board mass. Sometimes you get powers. 2 cubed is a power. So you can get a question like this. 2 times 5 cubed minus 10. So what happens here, you have to do the power first. You must do the power first. So what we are saying is, we've got board mass plus power. So if a power is involved, then you must do the power first. So this will be 2 times. 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5. So 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5 and that's 125. So this is 125 minus 10. Then when you come back here, it's board mass now. Multiply first 2, 50 minus 10. Final answer 240. So what we are saying is that when you read a question and if there is a power in that question, Make sure you do the power first. So 5 cubed is 125. And then it becomes a simple multiplication and subtraction example. Then you do your multiplication. 2 times 125, 250. Minus 10, 240. So remember, if powers are involved, please make sure that you do the powers first. Let's do another example involving powers. Number 2. 5 times 2 cubed plus 3. You've got to do the power first. So 2 cubed is 8. So 5 times 8, 40. 40 plus 3, 43. So remember, power first. Alright, so that brings us to the end of board mass. And make sure that you know this rule and can apply this rule. Thank you.